It's hard to think about before Labor Day, but we are just five weeks away from the start of early voting in Ohio. October 6th is the first day you can vote at the Board of Elections. That's also when the first absentee ballots will be mailed. By all indications, many more people than normal plan to cast their ballots ahead of the actual November 3rd date. News 5's John Kosick begins our team coverage with news out of Cuyahoga County. Hi, John. Hey, Homie, if they saw 10,000 applications for ballots four years ago, they would have been shocked. But this year, they're already looking at 10 times that. Things may look quiet at the Cuyahoga County Board of Elections these days, but it is far from it. They have already added 30 temporary workers to process the vote by mail applications that have been coming in at a record pace. We already have just over 100,000 vote by mail applications processed and have another 25,000 um, in, sitting in our warehouse on backlog that we're working through. So when you go back four years ago, a comparable, you got a couple thousand at this point. And those two numbers combined total more than half of the number of vote by mail requests it received in all of 2016. Right now, countywide, 12% of all voters have requested absentee ballots, but a deeper look shows four communities where that number is nearly double that. Orange, Pepper Pike, Shaker Heights, and Beechwood. And this is without even the Secretary of State sending out his application yet, which will that will be hitting mailboxes within the next couple weeks. 70% of Cuyahoga County voters are nonpartisan. 22% are registered Democrats and 8% Republicans. Among those groups, the numbers show that already 29% of Democrats have requested ballots, 10.5% of Republicans, and just over 6% of Independents. In the coming weeks, the parties, the candidates, and the Secretary of State will all be sending voters applications for absentee ballots. Perlotti only asks you fill out one. What we want to do, though, is minimize duplicate applications because that's uh, doubling up on work when we could be doing initial applications. And that can be done by clicking the Track My Ballot tool on the BOE's website, which will register when your application is received. If you sent one in already and you're not sure did it get processed, look there. And then when you get a Secretary of State one, if you know that we have one that's been processed, there's no need for you to send that back. And getting your request in over the next couple of weeks is crucial for a couple of reasons, not the least of which it allows the BOE staff time to verify the application, get the ballot out to you. Because if you wait too long when the volume is high, we saw this in, this, in the primary, uh, you may not get your ballot in time for you to vote and have it returned in time. All right, John, what about on Election Day? How are they going to be able to count all of those mail-in ballots? Yeah, no, that's really an issue for states like Pennsylvania is dealing with this right now because their law says they can't open the ballot application letters that the ballots come back in until the day of election. Here in Ohio, they're allowed to open those envelopes. They're allowed to process the ballots starting October 6th and even scan them into the machines. What they cannot do is hit tabulate. That will not happen until the polls close on November 3rd.